Hi, brothers and sisters in Christ. I want to share with you two prayer requests I found in comments earlier, but I was just so tired I had to go to bed or I would have looked <laughs> pathetic. Anyway, one's name is, let me get it down here. Well, it's Corrine Shepherd asking for her uh, brother. He is about to get his third eviction notice waiting on work. His boss says 10 days or longer. His name is Bill. Please pray for him. He has been homeless before. I can't stand to see this again. I guess she left a word out. To see this, I guess. He will be 55 in May. So, not old, but not, not a chicken anymore. Okay, spring chicken, they say. All right, so then under his comment is Chad Jones. He said, I'm 40, and I'm having trouble paying my light bill right now. And it's only around 40 bucks, but I work outside, and, I, and in Ace, Texas, where I live, it has rained a lot, so I haven't been able to work very much. Please pray for me to find a better job. And then he says, I probably to Corrine, I'll pray for your loved one. And I've been homeless, and it's not any way to live life. It's just surviving. Well, I'd like to say that I didn't say Chad and Corrine if you could I don't know if your brother Bill is born again or not if he trusts in Jesus I know we've got some other homeless folks that have to stay with family and um, one is kind of in and out of uh, like boarding homes wherever she can get the funds to stay and Jesus brings her through it I'd like to encourage you Chad to let Jesus bring you through whatever happens and I do pray that you find an ad in a paper that or a little buy sell bulletin they call them here in Alabama I don't know if they have those there but they probably have something similar they're like 75 cents and there's ads of all kinds it could be some kind of work you could do just helping somebody move I'll get you a couple hundred dollars um I don't know what kind of things they do down there in Texas, but I would imagine it'd be a similar kind of situation. Something that would help you pay your bill. And I pray that um, Bill will be looking for another job. Something he can start right away. And maybe the landlord, I don't know, his third notice maybe you can let him stay with you for a week or two until he gets paid he needs another job just tell him to get him try to help him find another job that's all I know to do there's gonna be a lot of people in the same situation brothers and sisters we got to remember it, I feel so blessed I mean that I have what I have with what I get and so many people will, will be in the same situation because no containers to empty they're out of work right now because the docks are not allowing the goods to come in at least not from China and things like that if people have jobs like that they're out of work right now restaurants are shutting down all arenas all places where people gather are all shutting down and that's going to put a lot of people out of work temporarily and there ought to be a hotline number I read something somewhere about 
money that the president allocated for people that were out of work, or maybe it was for businesses that had to shut down, but see if there's any resources in your area. I mean, I don't know if rain affected your job. Probably won't help you, Chad, but for those who are affected by the COVID-19 being out of work, there's there may be resources in your state to help you out. And, of course, there's always unemployment. Unemployment um, benefits. Okay, I'm ending it at that. And uh, let us all keep these two fellas in our prayers. All right, thank you all. Bye for now. I'll talk to you later.